Hi, Sharon. My name's Tony. I reached out to you guys earlier today and quickly spoke to Nina and let her know that I wanted to shoot this email out to you guys. She was kind enough to give me an email address and mentioned that you might be the person that would be interested in watching this. What I wanted to do for you today is give you three tips on how you can increase your online presence in a way that will actually help you generate some additional business via your website. This is a free service I do for small businesses and small business owners. I don't ask for anything in return other than if you find anything uh, of value in the video, just to reply to the email that I send it uh, with and let me know your thoughts. Any feedback would be appreciated and helps me build a better video for the next uh, small business I do one of these for. So with that, I want to go over content, citations, and backlinks. These are the three main ranking factors for Google. We'll start with content here, which is nothing more than the words and images here on the home page of your website. We suggest 2,000 words on the home page. This is the average word count for sites that tend to rank number one in Google. So if I actually do a control A here and copy all of this over here into this word character count, we see that you've got approximately 510 words. This is um, detrimental for two reasons. One, Google wants to serve up the best content possible for its end users. And the way it does that is by serving up the websites that have the uh, most, uh, you know, detailed and uh, uh, well-written content on their homepage. I'm stumbling for words here. Um, so with that, you know, the, the more words, the more well-written it is, uh, the higher a chance you have to rank uh, higher in their search engine. Not only that, keywords like roofing, Jacksonville, Florida, which are searched, this is searched 300 times alone in the uh, Jacksonville area. You need to get those kind of keywords in with your content. And in order, in order to get it in there without it coming off spammy, you want to have uh, more content. So what I did here actually was look that keyword up and found that prime roofing was number one for it. So I'm going to use this company as sort of your uh, competition. When we look at their word count, they have almost 700 words, so not that much more than you. And um, in all honesty, I think your website looks better. It just needs a bit more, uh, a bit more content on it to really win, win out in this regard. So let's go back over here. Um, after doing that search, we're going to get the sponsored ads here, which is Google trying to make its money, the pay-per-click. But I don't want to talk about that today. I want to go here to the map pack. This is, this is a very important area for uh, small businesses like yourselves about 70% or so of the search volume that comes through these kind of keywords is going to call or click into one or, one or more of these listings here. People just tend to think that the people that are at the top here, the businesses, I should say, that are at the top here are the best in the, in the area. And that's not necessarily true. What they have figured out how to do is rank high here, which is good. Um, the main ranking factor to get you here is something called citations. That's nothing more than your company name, address, and phone number out on directory sites around the web. These are sites like yellowpages.com, Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack, Facebook um, is even a citation. So all you need to do is do a Google search for citation websites. You're going to get a list a mile long. Add your company to 10 to 20 of those a week for, some, for a bit of time. And over time, you're going to see your Google business listing start rising in the rankings. Just make sure you're very careful with getting the, content, um, the, um, the actual company name, address, and phone number consistent through across all of those different directories. So the area under here is called the organic uh, rankings. These are more affected by something called backlinks. And what a backlink is, is just your company's website URL in a clickable format out on another website. Not all backlinks are created equal, and you want to try to get backlinks from niche relevant sources. So for a roofer, that might be somebody, something like um, a home improvement blog or a home improvement website, let's say, and that has a blog on it. You can even go as far as providing the website owner of that home improvement website with a, an article, like a thousand words on something about roofing. Oftentimes they'll trade you. They want more content for their site to keep it active. They'll give you a backlink a lot of times, um, or they'll charge you a very small fee for a backlink um, if you provide them with an article. So that's a good idea to get you some niche relevant backlinks. So since Prime Roofing is the first um, for this search, I'm going to put them over here into this product called AREFs. This is uh, a paid product that I, you know, I pay monthly for this. 
but there's free equivalents out there. Just do a search for free SEO products and you're going to find things that give you these kind of stats as well. Um, this is a representation of what Google knows about your product. It's an estimation. It's not right on the money, but it's pretty close. So they think 629 websites have this company's URL on it. So that's equivalent to backlinks or that is a backlink. Um, 4,100 keywords are being found for, and they're getting about 2,400 clicks. So say they're closing 10% of that, uh, those clicks, that's, uh, that's huge. That's big. Um, let's compare that to what your site is being, or what this product sees for your site. All right. So 14 websites is are pointing back to you. You're being found for 468 keywords and you're getting about 168 clicks. So that's not bad, but I'm curious, actually, if I click in here, what you're being found for. So almost all of this traffic is your company name, um, which is fine. But the fact is, if somebody's already searching that, they, they're going to click. They're looking for you. What you want to do is be found for Roofing Jacksonville FL because they're not looking for you. But if you show up in the top three, you're bound to get called. And that's the trick. Uh, actually, here's the keyword. So you're being found for it, but you're way out on page two at the bottom of page two. So you need uh, stronger backlinks to help push you up the charts for that keyword. All right. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I could go on forever, but I want to keep this short. Hopefully that was useful. Again, if it was, I welcome any feedback. Just a reply to the email would be great. Um, hopefully I gave you some tools to help you help yourself. But obviously this is what I do for a living. Um, if this is not something you're um, inclined to do on your own, but you see the value in it and want to get it started, reach out. I'm happy to talk and see if I could be of service. With that, I will let you go. Thank you, Sharon, for watching if you have, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.